third down and three now for the Rainbow Warriors. And the zone read it handoff to St. Justin. He's not going to get there. Pick up of just one yard, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Terrific job by the defensive front tackles. You've got Shaquille Huff at 330 pounds and Jamal McBride at 319 pounds. Those little bookend tackles in there do a terrific job of getting leverage. All kinds of different formations this time from Middle Tennessee as we will get Itavius Mathers in the backfield. Stops the back to pass. Out of the flat this time. Finds his man for a first down. Got it in the hands of Richie James, and Richie James will come out of the backfield. He'll line up all over the field. For the football when he catches it. 62 receptions on the year for Mathers. Going back up top. He's got a receiver, and he connects with him. All the way down to the 20-yard line, Dennis Andrews. The Georgia Tech transfer gets the Blue Raiders into the red zone. How about the offensive line giving quarterback Brent Stockstill enough time to throw this ball? Not only that, the touch by Stockstill of throwing this pass. It's that tempo I talked about earlier. When he's set and ready to go, he knows exactly where he wants to go with the football. Continuing with tempo as well, Stockstill. The handoff to Matters along the right side. Gets a block too. Will he get into the end zone? He does. Touchdown. Blue Raiders. And just like that, Middle Tennessee has broken out on top. Outstanding job of blocking on the edge, but when you have that ball in Mather's hands, he knows where the goal line is. And great blocking on the outside. This team knows what to do. It's not just the offensive line. I love how the wide receivers get into blocking with this football team. 20 yards on the touchdown carry for Mathers. He had 16 rushing touchdowns on the year, make it 17. And right here, Brett Stocks so does a terrific job right here. But look at the blocking on the outside. The wide receivers that I said before, when they get to the outside, they know how to throw a block, and that's what springs him into the end zone. That's Dennis Andrews, who just had a 30-yard reception on the very play before, making a great block downfield. Cannon Rooker on for the extra point. And it is good. 12 minutes and 9 seconds left in the first quarter on their first offensive drive of the game. The Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders take it right down the field and reach pay dirt with Itavius Mathers. Over his head. And Drew Brown is just going to fall on it on his own 25-yard line. Smart play by Drew Brown. That's all the center's fault, getting the ball. They've got to have that continuity of getting that ball when they're taking that shotgun snap like that. Junior out of Sacramento with the call on interference. So first down for the Blue Raiders. Little trickeration right here. Flea flicker. Wide open is Richie James. Holds it at the 20. He'll score. And I really like that play, but I really hate that play. Back with the Redskins, that was called 50 throwback special. And we had a quarterback break his leg. I'm not going to say his name, but we'll just leave it at that. But a great job of execution by the offense. Fake the handoff. The defense steps up in the play. When the back's got the ball, pitch it back to the quarterback. And guess what? Once you step up, the speed of Richie James just goes right by the defender. He's wide open for the score. Bro, Jesterman Ferris beating the freshman out of Coral Springs, Florida. Almost not fair to have a freshman in, the, in that position to keep stay one-on-one -on -one with Richie James. Cannon Rooker on for the point after to make it 14 to nothing. Middle Tennessee State, he does. And the flea flicker. A lot of times you'll see this in bowl games when coaches have a lot of time to prepare, and it works to perfection for the Blue Raiders. 14 to nothing, Middle Tennessee on top. Unga in motion back to his starting spot for Hawaii. St. Just again along the left side, finds some room, gets into the secondary. St. Just is finding some running room out there. Good feet on that play, making the stop in the backfield. Third down and six now. Staying with St. Just, finds an opening along the left side. Nice block downfield that time as well by Keelan Ivaliko. Sprung St. Just for another big game. And Chris, you said it the left side, Dijon Allen and John Wa'a. Terrific job. Left guard, left tackle, getting the push, creating the seam for St. Just to get through. And that's when they've been their most effective is running to the left side of the offensive line. Ninth. Fourth down here, Mayday going for it. Absolutely. Hey. Double tights, high snap, but Brown brings it down. Laka Laka with the carry, and I don't think he got there. Steven Laka Laka, the hammer on this offense, and certainly Middle Tennessee looks like he didn't. When you look at the body language for both of these teams, that tells the story. We don't even have to wait for Charles Lamartina to tell us. 
If they had a cleaner snap on this play, they might have gotten it. But Stephen Lakalaka at 5'10", 210 pounds. He's the hammer. He likes to go ahead and bang it in between the tackles. But the high snap might have hurt him a little bit on this play. He had to make a cut. But another time, I look at this defense from Middle Tennessee. They seem to always get one defender in the backfield. They may be picking on this freshman, which Jesterman Ferris the second. Why not? When you've, got, you've got confident skill guys out there that you've got confidence in, get them the football. Fake again going the same direction. This time, ball is knocked out. Fumble on the play, and Hawaii picks it up. Jelani Tavai with the fumble recovery, and that puts the Rainbow Warriors back in business. Smart by the Jelani Tavai, but how about that? That's the first time that they were able to get any pressure on Brent Scott Stocksville. He wanted to throw the ball in the first pump, couldn't get rid of it, had to pull it back down, didn't have that protection that he's had the entire game, and a terrific job of hustle by the Hawaii Rainbow Warrior defense. Ike Mokeke comes around the left side and forces the ball out right here with a perfectly timed hit. Now that's just concentration hustle going for the football. When you know the quarterback's going to get ready to throw the ball, stripping it out of his hands. Hawaii converges on it, picks it up, and makes something happen. That's the biggest play of the game for the Hawaii football team. And that got this crowd into it as well. Rainbow Warriors back in business inside the red zone after the turnover. Brown looking to pass. Going for the end zone. Got a man open. Touchdown. That's a Sela Unga. And Unga, the big tight end, does a terrific job of this play. We talked to Nick Rolovich. He said we can get some mismatches. We should have gotten them all season with a six foot five tight end getting in the football. And here he does a terrific job. Big, long arm tight end. Can block, but can definitely catch the football. Matsua Sela Unga has been banged up all year long. Finally healthy, and you mentioned it. Brian Smith, the offensive coordinator, Coach Rolovich, thought they could get mismatches, and they got one in the red zone to put the Rainbow Warriors on the board. Rigoberto Sanchez with the PAT, and just like that, in a quarter that at least the first half of this quarter have been dominated by Middle Tennessee. Hawaii gets the turnover, quick change, score, and we've got ourselves a ball game here, Mayday. Toy Salaunga does a great job with his body, getting in front of the defender right there, and just goes up, long arms. When you've got a body 6'5", and you've got a defender that's six foot covering you, you get your body in front of him, and nine times out of ten, it's going to be a big play for the offense. Middle Tennessee facing their first third down of the day. It's third and nine. Stockstill, did he make the catch? Simultaneous possession, they're calling it an interception. Jalen Rogers, cornerback, one of their best defenders. Terrific job of concentrating on the first down. Take a look at the play again. Dennis Andrews was the intended receiver. Look at Rodgers, just taking it away from him, using his hand strength. That's a great job of going over the top. Weren't able to connect, though, so second down and 10. Again, over the top, wide open. Inside the five, down to the one. That's where they'll mark him down. John Ursula with the big play. John Ursula does an outstanding job on this play. Not only that, how about the fake by quarterback Drew Wells? Got to fake it to the back. The defense steps up. Once the defense steps up just one step, that's enough for John Ursula to get open on the play, and he is wide open on this play. Bad coverage by Middle Tennessee. All those big runs by St. Just here in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Laka Laka, he takes it into the score. Nice job of collapsing the defensive right. The offensive left of the line does a nice job. But Stephen Laka Laka does a terrific job. There's not much here. He's just going to take it in the score. He's going to lower his shoulder. There's nobody there to stop him. At 5'10", 210 pounds from Honolulu. They call him the hammer. That's his 13th rushing touchdown of the year. And he comes up limping. We'll have to keep an eye on that. A power football by Hawaii. Helmet to helmet, get a push, push the line back. He just runs through the first tackle. 
Sanchez converts the point after try, and Hawaii with two touchdowns in the last minute and 30 of game time. Ties this game up. Change of momentum. That strip of the quarterback, Brett Stock, still really changed the momentum of this football game. St. Just the fake to hand, and Drew Brown keeps it. Inside the 10, down to the 6-yard line. Beautiful fake. Outstanding fake by not only the quarterback, Drew Brown, but how about the running back? The defense followed the running back on the play. That was really exceptional. Look at all the hats of the defense. Nobody's following the quarterback. But a great job of the fake by quarterback Drew Brown. But for now, it's St. Just in the backfield. Yeah. The fake. Brown keeps it. He'll score. Another terrific job by Drew Brown of reading the defense. But the defense attacking St. Just on the fake. They're going for the back on the fake, which guess what? There's nobody to the outside. Great decision by Drew Brown. He sees the opening. Easy score for Hawaii. Let's remember that the first couple of drives, even though Hawaii wasn't scoring touchdowns, mm -hmm. St. Just was getting chunks of yards yep. running on the left side. They've got to respect that. That's why, that's why you watch the linebackers go with the flow. They're going with the running back. Hawaii takes their first lead of the game, and... Rigoberto Sanchez looking to make it seven points the margin. And the senior from Hamilton City, California does just that. 21-14, Hawaii on top. Drew Brown has become the magician of the zone read. And it's all working for the Rainbow Warriors. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, it certainly looks like it would be completely flipped on the other side as well with Middle Tennessee. They get Richie James involved, and look at this guy. Start to the right, goes to the left, and trips on his own man. Tripped on his own teammate that time. Desmond Anderson was downfield trying to make a block, and Richie can't even believe it. He's unbelievable. It just goes to show you his explosive nature, though. A nice job of the line blocking, but he just has so much quickness when he gets the football and makes things happen. He's so quick in the open field. How about the fans getting into this? Yeah, I like it. James in motion out of the backfield. Stock still looking his way, and they connect. James has open grass in front of him. Still on his feet. Powers his way close to midfield. Traymond Henderson making the stop, but a great individual effort that time by James. Not only that, avoiding tacklers and then getting lower than the tacklers at the end of the play and keeping his feet moving and driving down the field to pick up additional yardage for the offense. He's so quick coming out of the backfield. I keep saying this. That's why he gets open. Once he gets open, he'll make that first defender miss. First in California, <laughs> I believe our colleague Jesse Palmer likes to say. It's a long way before they convert. First. Oh, it's picked off. Picked off this time by Hawaii. And he's got a convoy of blockers in front of him. And Trayvon Henderson is there to take it to the house. Definitely some confusion by the offense. They had two wide receivers in the same area, one defender, and the one defender picks it off. Trayvon Henderson, Johnny on the spot, does a terrific job not only picking it off, but taking it back to the score. But Rick Stock still can't believe it. His young quarterback would only throw, throw five and only thrown five interceptions all year long. Mm -hmm. Granted, he missed the team's last four games. Throws two here in the first half. This one taken to the house by Trayvon Henderson. And Hawaii extends their lead. Extra point is good. And in shocking fashion, Hawaii has rattled off 28 straight points, including Trayvon Henderson's third interception of the year. He takes this one back to the house, and it's a 28-14 lead for the Rainbow Warriors. You put Dennis Andrews or Richie James in the game. Richie James is a high school quarterback. They can throw the ball. Stops it. He can throw it. Finds a man, too. Wide open across the middle that time. Ty Lee with the catch, and it's going to be another first down.
What a nice release by Brent Stockdale. I like the way he throws the ball on the run, whether it's left or right. He's more comfortable, obviously, going to the left because he's a left-hander. He's just got so much confidence and a great release going down the field with the football. Good feet in the pocket, making a big play down the field. Once again, Middle Tennessee now scrimmaging from Hawaii territory from the 46-yard line. Haven't been able to finish a drive in some time. Stockdale rolling to his right. This time connects with Richie James, and he gets loose. One man to beat, tries to shake and bake, can at the 15, but the Blue Raiders are in business. Jalen Rogers made the tackle, but not before Richie James picked up another big game. I talked about the quickness of Richie James earlier in this football game, and he's so quick picking up additional yards, just using his quickness to get around the defender. Defender thought he's got the angle on him there, he just turns the corner, and he's off to the races, picking up a huge play. to the right. Nice move that time and a score. Nice job by Ty Lee to make the first man miss and pick up the touchdown. Not only that, Richie James threw a block on that play. Two defenders out there. James throws one black block. Ty Lee has to make a defender miss and he does. Takes it into the score. Eighth touchdown reception on the year for Ty Lee and Middle Tennessee right back at it. And Richie James just does such a terrific job throwing the ball, running the ball, receiving the ball. But how about the little guy making blocks? I mean, that, that's big time. When you're 5'9", 180, and you're throwing a block out there for one of your teammates, springs him for the touchdown. Lee made Henderson miss on the tackle. And in Rooker's extra point. Puts Middle Tennessee back to within seven with a minute 41 left to go in the first half. There's a nominee for the Burlesworth Trophy. That's for the top former walk-on in college football. Nice pass that time by Drew Brown. Finds his man on the left side. And Keelan Ivaliko with the grab and the first down. So the Rainbow Warriors are in business. A minute 11 left to go here in the second quarter. In this football game at this point, just because of the explosive offense of North Tennessee. And we didn't think that Hawaii's defense would set them up with turnovers as they have in this game. Brown flushed out of the pocket. He could run. And he does. Oh, oh that's a big hit late in this game. Late in the play. And now and the flag flags. comes out. Very late flags. I mean, that was a big hit. Wow. And Brown had already slowed up. Let's get this sorted out because those flags came in late. A lot of laundry. Really late. Darius Harris with the hit from Middle Tennessee. And it was right on that Hawaii sideline where all the players were congregated right around the 30-yard line. We've got officials with hats off. No more flags left in their pockets to throw. Quarterback Drew Brown just kind of lackluster running to the sideline, slowing it down. Got his molars rattled on that hit. Nick Rolovich getting an explanation. We'll get ours. Mm -hmm. There are multiple dead ball fouls there against both teams. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 29. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 30. Unsportsmanlike conduct, coming off the bench and striking a player, offense number 11. All those fouls will offset. That is number 11's first unsportsmanlike foul. Brown again back to throw. Going for it again, this time going for Kent, the big receiver, he comes down with it for the score. There's Marcus Kemp. Talked about it before, the match between Jeremy Cotrer mm -hmm. and Marcus Kemp. Cotrer, their tallest defensive back at 6'2", misjudges the football, but it's 6'4". Marcus Kemp goes up and brings it in for another touchdown for Hawaii. Kemp's eighth score on the year, the first time we've called his name today, and what a big moment for the Rambo Warriors. High snap on the PAT. Holder gets it down, and Sanchez nails it. Talk, hey, about, hey. talk yeah. about reclaiming momentum. Third and 13, maybe go for the field goal, but how about this? Good protection, just enough time for Drew Brown to throw it up top to his big fellow to make an adjustment on the football and come down with a touchdown reception. 
Marcus Kemp, that's great concentration. Richie James again at that quarterback spot. The reverse this time, and fumble. And it looks like Middle Tennessee was able to recover it, averting disaster here at the start of the second half. On 41-yard line, again, double tights. Nasby St. Just with the carry, bounces it outside. Has a little bit of room, stiff arm, gets about 11 yards on the carry. Wow, what an outstanding job I see just on that play. There was nothing there at the point of attack, and just his quick feet and instincts got positive yardage enough for a first down. Big third down here, third and five for Drew Brown. Back to pass. He has a man open, too, and he connects inside the 10-yard line. Ursua with the grab. Boy, do they love this young man as well. Just came back from a two-year mission in Paris. Speaks fluent French. He's a redshirt freshman, but he's three years out of high school because he redshirted last year after his two-year mission. And John Ursua just showing his speed and jets right here. Just runs away from the defenders. Awesome job by the offensive line of giving Drew Brown pass protection where he can step up in the pocket and deliver the football on the He's a senior. He's a tough guy. Throwing it back on the left side with a tackle eligible. A big fella isn't going to get into the end zone. That was sniffed out that time by Middle Tennessee. We've got a flag on the play. <laughs> Fourth down for Rigoberto Sanchez. Again, this will be about... <laughs> a 24-yard attempt. 24-yard attempt. Partially, it sounded like it was partially blocked, but it does go through. Sanchez extends Hawaii's lead, 38-21 right now. 9.46 left to go in the third quarter. We've got a good one set up here for the second half. Did a good look at Corey Rasmussen there. Not that big as a defensive tackle. He's only 295. He's the only defensive tackle on both sides of the ball. It's under 300. Going up top for Richie James, and he's got him. What a beautiful pass that time. James had just a step, and that's all he needed on Trayvon Henderson. And Stock still put it right in the bread basket. That's what this offense needs. I talked about it two plays. Explosion plays by this offense going vertically with the football. They've got to get back in this game. They've got to score quick. And they do right here with a beautiful pass down the field play. Nice touch by quarterback Stocks. There. And now you can go into a little bit of tempo here. And this is exactly what Middle Tennessee does. Dennis Andrews hauls it in. That'll be another first down. And let's see how quickly the Blue Raiders can get going offensively. Big pitch, hands it this time to Richie James. Breaks in some tackles along the right side and gets all the way inside the 10 yard line. He, he wow. what do we call this? It's like a water bug. Yeah, he just slides right through that gap. It looks like he's going to get stopped, but he finds a way to squirt through it. Second down and goal from the 10. Stock still back in the gun, fakes the handoff. Looking at the slant, he gets it. Big hit, but he holds on for the score. Dennis Andrews hauls it in. Withstood the big hit mm -hmm. that time by Damian Packer, but held on. Nice play. But how about the play fake by quarterback Brent Stocksfield? Takes the snap, squats down with the defense can barely see him, stands tall in the pocket and delivers a strike to Dennis Andrews between the two defenders. And he comes down, gets rocked on the play, but still holds on to the football for the touchdown reception. Cannon Rooker on to try the point. Nails it, and the Blue Raiders pull to within 10. I used to hate that as a player. Defensive players can rotate in and out. Offensive linemen have to stay in the entire duration. St. Just again with the carry, bounces it to the outside. Looking for that first down marker, finds it, and more. Crowd appreciates the effort as St. Just brings it all the way out to the 45-yard line. And the awesome East St. Just, terrific job of not stopping on the play, not giving up on the play. When a lot of defenders pulled up and thought he was going to go out of bounds, he just kept running, tiptoeing down the sidelines, lowered the shoulders, and picked up the first down and more. And Brown's right in the gun. Brown sprints out of the pocket, looking for a receiver, finds one in Kemp. Little short of the first down. This is going to bring up fourth down and four. Now with 
got some confusion. Yes. Lots of confusion. Rigoberto Sanchez getting ready to punt the ball. But we've got an extra Hawaii player on the field. And it's a fake. And they complete the fake. <laughs> never seen that formation in my entire life. Ammon Barker comes down with the ball and Rigoberto Sanchez played it off beautifully and McCoa Command Stevens was behind the punter. First time, him, number 10. first time I've seen that. There was confusion by the officials on the play, confusion by Middle Tennessee, but not by Hawaii. Their special teams has been outstanding all season long. Completion down the field to play for another first down for the Rainbow Warriors. Sometimes you got to watch them wide. Special teams has really right. helped them out all season long. Why not? First bowl game since 2010 for Hawaii. Steven Laka Laka in the game. And Drew is going to look to pass to his right. He finds his man. Kemp again inside the five. And a fourth and three. He passes it to Kemp. And what a terrific call by offensive coordinator Brian Smith. Head coach Nick Rolovich going for this. Hey, why not? First bowl game in a long time. Let's go ahead and go for it. Brown looking to pass into the end zone. No problem. Unga with the score again. Tight end Matoi Sela Unga, six foot five, was wide open on that play. And a heck of an athlete at six foot five, 240. He creates mismatches not only with his size, but also with his speed and his route running. Coach Rolovich told us watch out for Unga. Now healthy. You mentioned the mismatches, and he has had himself a great game. Touchdown number two. It extends this Rainbow Warrior lead. I'm not laid out. It's a bowl game. First bowl game in a long time. First for anybody on this roster. Go for it. Forty-five, twenty-eight. Hawaii with the lead. Second down and eight. This time, it's Mathers. Finally gets free. Big gain of first down for Middle Tennessee before Damian Packer was able to make the stop downfield. Stop still. The pressure coming. Gets it away. Incomplete. Jelani Tavai, among others, putting pressure on Stock still forcing a fourth down. Obviously, we don't know the extent of it, but it was it was a, a significant enough injury for the backup quarterback to start warming up. Hawaii trying to convert on third down, and they do. St. Just again. He's been finding running room on the left side, Mark, all night long. And I talked about Dijon Allen, the left tackle, and John Waha, the left guard, doing a terrific job creating holes for the running game, and they do it again on this play. Outstanding blocking at the point of attack. It is four down and six. And Nick Rolovich is keeping his offense on the field. Again, first bowl game since 2010. Haven't won a bowl game since 2006 here in Hawaii. Why not? Throw caution to the win. Have fun. Brown with the play action fake. And he's going to go up top. And he's got Ursua open. Almost makes the play. Ball was underthrown and Ursua had to come back for it. But that in a way almost helped him. Just one tip of the ball by one of the defenders. Three defenders converged on the ball. It was tipped away right at the end. Brent Stockskill, up-tempo, making big plays offensively. Not a lot of mistakes, but for some reason in this game, they've just gone backwards. A lot of big plays have been yeah. called back, too, from Middle Tennessee. Stockskill, back to pass again. Quick over the middle. Wide open, he finds his receiver. Couple of moves downfield, and it's a big, big gain that time for Ty Lee. Really nice move by Ty Lee. Good protection by the offensive line, allowing Stockstill to step up and throw this bullet down the field. Middle Tennessee is having success in spite of their own mistakes because Hawaii is helping them out a little bit. Can he get to the outside? Missed tackle, and he does score. Ty Lee stayed on his feet and gets the score for Middle Tennessee. Jalen Rogers couldn't bring him down inside the five. What a fabulous job by the freshman, Ty Lee, at five foot nine, doing an outstanding job of not going down, not being denied to take it in for the score. Middle Tennessee is not done yet, not by a long shot, with 10.09 left to go in this contest. 
Cannon Rooker with an opportunity to bring the Blue Raiders to within 10 once again. Cannon nails it. I scan the field for flags. I see none. <laughs> and it is a 10-point Hawaii lead with over 10 minutes left to go in this one. Tons of football left to go, and the game is completely up in the air. Don't go anywhere. Third down and six for Hawaii. 9-19 and counting in the game. Brown, quick drop, finds his receiver across the middle. It'll be a first down and more. Ursua with another big play for the Rainbow Warriors. Middle Tennessee has got to get their defense off the field. Ursua again with a big play and finds some open space. Inside the 40-yard line, this man cannot be stopped here in the fourth quarter. John Ursua is just a freshman, but what a special player. Smart, heady, knows how to get open. Goes past the first down marker, picks up the additional yardage. But on third down, he's been absolutely instrumental in this offense, coming down with third down receptions and making plays. Right here, picks up a block. Under six minutes to play in this one. Why up 10 and driving. Double tights. Paul Harris up the middle. Breaks the tackle. Great move by Harris. Inside the 10-yard line. First and goal, Hawaii. What an athlete, Paul Harris. What moves? Not being denied on the play, but the offensive line is wearing down the defensive front seven of Middle Tennessee. They've been doing it for the last two and a half quarters, pounding the football, but are now seeing change of pace with Paul Harris coming into the game. Terrific running black back. The seniors done a terrific job running the football downhill, but here, spectacular cuts with the football. What a move by Harris. Rolovich and company would go for three on fourth down. They may not the way this game has gone. Chris Wright has an open receiver. Scores! It's Colley. Dylan Colley, the sophomore from El Dorado Hills, California, makes the catch and extends the football beyond the line. Hawaii is in great shape. And another great job by a young receiver for Hawaii, the sophomore, Dylan Colley. Knows where the goal line is, reaches out across the goal line for the score. How about quarterback Drew Brown rolling to his right, throwing the ball right on the money again on third down? He has been on target in this game, poised. When his team needs a big play all game long, he's been there to deliver it. Get an extra game, too, if, if you make that trip. Sanchez boots it through. 52-35. Hawaii extends their lead. Home folks here at Aloha Stadium. All smiles. Stockstill. Out to the left. Finds Mathers. And he gets some open space. He does. Tripped up, though, after a gain of 15. It'll be a first down. It's one of those plays we hadn't seen enough uh, from Itavius Mathers in this game. Why a prevent D on this one? Understandably so, third and forever. But they pick up the first down. Nice play that time by Jacques Bruce. Nice throw by the quarterback, Brent Scott Stockstill. With Richie James out, Jacques Bruce getting an opportunity to show what he can do and picks up the first down on third and forever. It's a battle of wills right here. Stockstill keeps. Looks for receiver. Has his man but can't connect. Stephen Rhodes made the play for Hawaii. Good play call, good pass. Bad hands by the receiver. And that'll do it. Noah Partner, 
fun game to call. 87 points scored. Yeah, with 1,000 yards. Rolovich trying to avoid the Gatorade bath. It's not going to work. <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> means a lot to him, quarterback here. Look at that joy in having Under June Jones, players. means a lot to these players. Final score, 52-35. Hawaii with the win. Coming up next on ESPN, we'll take you back to Bristol for Sports Center. With Bucci and Anderson fans, tune in to ESPN3 for the post-game trophy ceremony presented by Capital One. Thanks for watching, everybody. Maliklikimaka from Honolulu.